39 off 31. Three wickets in hand. Andy Roberts in the middle there. And uh, just looking up towards the back, the, West, the uh, Sri Lankans all uh, snuggled together up at the back there. Well, that's coming down the ground. That'll be six, will it? Yes, what a shot! A magnificent shot way over the top. Well, Tilaka Ratna is having a little blinder. He's really taken the pressure off by hitting that one straight down the ground. Well, what does the equation say now? Well, Phil Simmons is not too happy with that. But he's given to the Karatna just a bit too much room outside the off stump. The length, the line, both incorrect. Yes, he certainly gave him a bit of width. What a good shot that was, right off the meat of the bat and all the way. Have a look at that. And boy, as it left, they started jumping up and down, down there. They're doing the jig. And there it is, 33 of 30. Three wickets in hand. Down the square leg, picked up. In comes the throw, he's running for it. There's going to be a run out. Yes, he's gone. He's gone. What a good throw that was. Bishop got let the ball go. It was whipped down towards deep square leg. They came back for the second. There was a stutter. It was a magnificent throw right alongside the stumps. Campbell, the man who threw that ball in, it really was a long boundary down there, and he let it go, and uh, that was the run out the West Indies needed. West Indies certainly needed a wicket, but I'm not too sure that Dharma Cena made the right decision here. No way should he have gone back for the second run. He's nowhere in the picture. Played a good inning for his team, though. Unfortunate for himself and Sri Lanka, he has been run out, but he certainly has put them back into the picture. Or big appeal for LBW, and they're taking the leg by. It couldn't have been far away. A lot of pressure here on Phil Simmons. I think just missing leg. Well, it's well bowled. They're running. Will he have a throw at the stumps? No, he can't. There's no way he can have a throw at those stumps. So another single. Well, that's the end of the over. And uh, a sigh of relief, I would have thought, for Otis Gibson. Not a bad over, actually. So, now we're down to the last one. Eight runs, six balls, and one wicket. Just six balls to go. Eight runs needed. Vikram a singer, the man on strike. I think the Westerns would be quite happy with that. They would prefer to have Vikram a singer on strike. But the important thing is to keep him on strike. Right. Now we are down to the crunch. Have a look at the brow there and the uh, the look on the face of. Wickrama Singer, he's on strike now. Andy Cummins, he's got the last over. Nice, comfortable run. Tight to mid wicket, this will be out if he hits. He's missed the stumps. Well, that would have been out. I'm not too sure that uh, it really needed to be thrown at the, at, uh, at the stumps. That's a big chance of a run out that was. That could have been the difference. Just watch this. Andy Cummings was right beside the stumps. He could have thrown it to Andy Cummings and he had enough time to take the bills off. But instead, he tried to hit the stumps with Richardson and missed. That's what pressure does. Seven runs, five balls. Can't allow him to hit it for four. Get it up there, Andy. It's in the air. It's going down the ground. They won't get three. They, will they get two? It's picked up. In comes the throw down the other end. They've got two, a big cheer goes up here. One would have thought they'd won the game. I can see the Sri Lankan ambassador down there, he's on his feet, cheering. That's His Highness Sim Suddin down there, and he's giving it heaps. They're having a ball. Sri Lanka 
Five to get, four balls remaining. One wicket in hand, all they need is a run out. Is he going to hit this for six? One shot, could finish it. Oh, he's had this, it's going over the top. Oh, he's taken it, what a catch, what a catch. On the boundary, unbelievable stuff, that was going for six. You couldn't get a closer match than this. This was a full toss on leg stump. He smashed the ball away down to deep square leg. Williams had nowhere to go. He was standing almost on the line. That is happiness personified. Williams stood there, couldn't move, about to watch it go over the top of his head, and he latched onto it. It was unbelievable. Have a look at this. There it goes. Williams is on the boundary. He's moving back. He's about to watch it go over the fence. There it is. He puts his hand up in the air. Thank you very much. Game, set, and match. Well, it couldn't have been any closer than that, Tony, I just said. Stuart Williams taking the catch right on the boundary. Placed in exactly the right position. If he had been a bit further to either his left or right, he would have had to make ground, and then he perhaps would not have been able to settle himself. But in the right position, taking the catch, and the West Indies scrape home.